Hi guys and welcome back to another nail video. So I just want to start off by saying I hope everybody had a lovely Christmas. No, I can't say that, can I? Because I'm doing it before. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another nail video. So in today's video I am doing a very 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 early New Year's Eve design for you. So I did that with, with the Christmas one so I thought I'd do it with this one as well. So I'll start off by, I nearly got that out then, by showing you what items I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using Wow Bow's nail bed and this is Crown Peach. Now these I think I'm using, I might add to them, I might take away or I might even use this as well. I don't know, I'll just show them it and then if I use them I use them. This is one of my mixes I made about 15, 20, 25 years ago, <laughs> just a silver one. Um, this is a, a purple design mainly, so I'm going to be using Smile, Sm Smiley's Glitter Store now, not that, the Celebration. I'm going to be using Model Ones uh, acrylic powder in number 67 I think that is that one this is a two-in-one dipping powder and normal as well I think I'm going to be using Angel Whispers this one not a clue where I've got it from there's no name or anything this one is from Phoenix Glitter and it's Princess whatever that name is and I'm going to be using this this is new from Wow Bow and this is one of the things that I couldn't show you as well as their new acrylic brush this is a number eight I couldn't sh really show it in the other one because they haven't got it on the website now but they have they've got a new number eight and number ten this is number eight I am loving using this and this is their cutting tool which I'm going to use today I've never used one before so that should be fun and it comes in this little pouch which is just broke Oh, that's oh oh my god okay the press studs come out of the thing oh no I'll have to see if I can do something with that but it doesn't matter I can just fold it over like that good start Nick <laughs> so I'm going to start off by prepping my nails putting the nails on not quite sure if I'm going to put stilettos on or their new ballerina shape but we'll we'll soon find out as we go along I've also got a new background in this video. I've found some of this gorgeous paper in Hobbycraft. I decided to venture out and go Hobbycraft because I'm starting planning again now. So I thought, well, why not? Scary time still out there with a lot of people, but what can you do if you want to go somewhere? So I'm not quite sure what this paper's called, but it's obviously got the silver holographic going on there on a pink back backing paper type thing. You'll have to let me know if you like it, if you don't I won't use it again but I would love your feedback. Obviously these videos are for you and if it irritates you I'll take it away. So the same as usual, now I have prepped and put acid free primer on, I'm going to put the nails on, then I'm going to put a thin layer of clear over my nail beds. Alright before I start, I know people are going to see this when I'm doing using the brush. These are warts, I can't do anything about them, they're just there. Um, I've tried numerous things, the doctors tried burning them off, freezing them, injecting them, they still come back. So if you do see them, like I've got a few there as well, please just ignore them, can't do anything about them. So. Okay, can I just say how crooked is that? How bad did I put that nail on? Oh my goodness, wow. Can you see? Like, it's going off to one side. How did I not think that was right? Good grief, Nick. Wow. I'm going to clip it right down because the glue's that good. It, I can't, I don't want to just whack it off. And then I'm just going to file that down as much as I can before I can sort of lift it off.
like that. So I'm going to put another one on and then I'll be back. It's much better. Okay, so I have done two test nails, so I know what I'm going to do on two of my nails, but I don't know about the rest. So I've had a think, and I think my thumb and pinky, I'm going to do the same. My first finger and ring finger, I'm going to do the same. And then my second finger is the main part of this design. So I'm going to start off by doing a nail bed with the crown peach from Wow Bow on thumb and ring finger, and then I'll go from there. Alright, so this is the celebration, which is a good name for what I'm doing. It's in a bag, so you know, can't do it in a bag. So I'm going to put in this triangle thing, and then I'm just going to pick some clear acrylic up, dip it into this, and then I'm going to put it around the smile line and fade it down. Then I'm going to get the angel whispers, put it at the bottom, and then fade it up and, fit, and like mix the two together. Blend the two together is the word I'm after. Come on, Nick. You're nearly 50. Get your word right. If I haven't already said, I am using Wow Bow's uh, Premium Acrylic Monomer. I am loving this stuff. Uh, I mean, I've only put the nail bed on, but it is seriously one of the best systems I've ever used. It's so easy to use. All right, so it's not very often I want to change my mind on doing something. But having seen these two colours together, this is, I won't show you what I'm doing there, but this is the test nail. And yeah, it looked nice, but oh my God, on these long stiletto nails, in this nail bed, it really looks nice. So from the plan I was going to have, I've changed it. I'm going to put this, this combination on all three nails and then I'm going to do the main one on there. But wow, how gorgeous do they look together. Right, on my first finger, again, change my mind, I'm going to put the nail bed at the top and fade it down. Then I'm going to get the two colours, combine them doing a side swipe, and then fade them into one another, and not do so much of a straight line. Oh, I'm excited. Alright, so on my ring finger, I'm going to do the same as my first finger, but put the glitters opposite. Okay, so for my second finger, I'm going to use the Model 1's 2-in-1 powder in purple. Can anybody remember if last time I did purple nails? It's been a while. I've done, I mean, for ages I've done red and blue nails and silver. I can't remember last time I did purple. I mean, I did the Indian Sari 
oh my life, that was at least six years ago. And I really can't put my finger on whether I've done any since then. Anyway, comment down below if you can remember the last time I did purple nails, because it would be interesting to know without going on and checking myself, because I'm obviously sitting here doing nails, um, the last time I did them. Alright, so before I get on to all the fun stuff like making holes in my nails, I am going to encapsulate all of them, file them and then I'll be back. Alright, so they're all <clears throat> filed and buffed now. So next, I need to do some drawing on the nails and I'm going to file a hole in this nail. Um, but for this to work better, I'm, I need some um, top coat. So I'm just going to put on all of the nails and then just file a hole. If I need to go over the top coat again, I will do. If I file anything that I shouldn't do. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm using Wow Bow's Diamond Shine Top Coat. Again, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Let's do some top coat porn, eh, guys? <laughs> Ready? <gasps> Ready? Oh, focus. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to focus then. Oh, my God. Oh, my life. These nails are gorgeous. I don't say that very often about the nails I do. But these colours together, I did not think they would look this good. I am so impressed with these two colours together. They are gorgeous. to the next part so I have had one of these for donkey's years and they just come in really handy when you want to make holes in your nails as you can see most of them have been well used and uh, not cleaned very well brilliant when you need to come to use it again but never mind so I want one that is really quite sharp that one I think will do that's got a really sharp edge on it as you can see and then I'm gonna no, I'm gonna use that one to try and make the hole a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to try and do is this. So this is the nail I come up with. So it's like a clock, obviously, because New Year, you know, all that lot. 
and I want you to try and do a pendulum. Now I could just do a pendulum for the video, I could put like blue tack on the back and then move it myself so that it looks like a pendulum but um, at the end of the day that's just, you know, these I'm going to keep on. So I'm going to do what I did in here and just pour a nice crystal. Um, anyway, that's what I'm going for. So I need to do an appropriate sized hole in this finger. Nail, not finger, fingernail. But I don't want to go too far on the edges because then I won't be able to put the numbers like I made the mistake on the other one. So we'll uh, start drilling and see where we get to. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is around the clock area, I'm going to put the numbers obviously 1 to 12 and then on the two nails with the nail bed, like with the proper nail bed, I'm going to attempt to do 2001 because you know, that's what year it is next year, believe it or not. Oh my God! So uh, with my drawing skills, let's see how, uh, how, much, how fun these are to do. 2001. It's 2011. Oh my life. No, it isn't. 2021. Seriously, what year am I in? I can't even remember what year. Let's see if anybody caught what I've just done. Oh my life. So, 2021. Numbers I'm doing. Oh crikey, how long have I been at this design? All right, so what I'm going to do again is go over it in the white again. I'm not going to cure it this time. Now I've got sort of a, a base that I can go off. And then I'm going to go over it with white acrylic powder, and then cure it. All right, so I'm going to brush that off. So that's like got a, a different texture to it now. I might just keep this on for the video, but um, I don't know whether I'm liking it or not, which is typical. Okay, I'm going to carry on anyway. All right, the next thing I need is a small safety pin. I think that's the 
that's the smallest one I've got. They do come in handy. And then I'm going to just get it out like that. Get your hardware <laughs> and clip one side. And then I'm just gonna clip the sharp edge off. So I've been toying with the idea of either that one or that one. Now that one shines more, but this one's got like a thing that I can put towards the 12. So I think I'm gonna use that one. And I'm going to tidy up for a start. Do you know, it's surprising how much makeup gets on here. I even used something to put over this and then put my makeup on. But this must have been the fourth time I've done this and makeup's still coming out of it. Any hoodles apart from that. What am I doing now? I am getting uh, Wow Bow's Gems Glue. Now, let me think how I can do this, so. I need to put that on, sort of like that. So I think I'm gonna do is get the end of the dotting tool and I'm gonna use this as the sort of guide. Okay, I've got some on the end of the dotting tool. My God, oh, honestly. <laughs> All right. Tweezers. 3,000 years later. Right, so I'm gonna push that onto there. Okay, that should have worked. Yeah, cool. So because I put it on like that, that sh that's going to get the, the crystal forward a bit, see how much it's up. So I'm going to get some more of this. Because this stuff has been really good, this gems glue, it's really stuck things on. Right, I'm just going to cure that again. Right, that should be cured now. So I think, instead of getting the, the poly gel out, I am just going to put this... Oh my god, it just won't do it. Kick round. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be easier said than done. Again, I haven't got three hands. Guys, are you busy? Can I help you please? Right, what I'm trying to do is get that like that. I've got, I want, I'm going to put this gems glue on and all I want you to do is take hold of this torch and when I say switch it on at the back like that uh -huh. and ju just put it over for me. So I've got to make sure I get it near, near enough where I think the number 12 is. This is nearly impossible. Oh, I'm going, I can use my other hand, fingernail. This is so, so awkward. Okay, let me put this shit on first. Oh, oh God, I had it then. Great, bloody hell. Right, do it now. Get down a bit. Okay, stuck. Thank you. Oh my God, that was hard work. Oh, and I can't believe it's done it right as well. Oh, well done. Thank you. Nice. Oh my god, that was that was a job and off. So because it's stuck down now, I can put some more on. Oh my life, that was stressful. Alright. Yay! Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, I'm so pleased it's actually gone in the right place. I did not think that that would go on the 12. It isn't exactly straight ish but it doesn't matter it's on the number 12 that's where i wanted it to go oh guys i've been at this design for a long time anyway shall we put bling on i think we'll put some bling on so i have got these which i found uh, in my drawers which are quite pretty so i think i'm going to put them on as well as a few of these i had off ebay and i'm going to put these on with glue no i'm not going to put them on with glue i've been putting them on with top coat just a dab of top coat and then putting the stones down and then using the LED lamp, the, the torch should I say, uh, for literally a couple of seconds and they've been sticking so that's what I'm going to do. Alright so the last thing I'm putting on is Madame Glam's Blossom cuticle oil which uh, my nails need. Not quite as bad as last time I did them but uh, yeah very much wanted. 
but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this very 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 early <laughs> New Year's Eve design depending on when you're watching it of course I mean if you're watching it in 2021 then uh, it's not very very early it's very very late um, but yeah these colours go so well together the silver and the purple looks so, so absolutely stunning together really like how these two look I'll try and leave the links to everything in the description box that I've used today. Really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.